so all this is the stuff that I've got in my rucksack, and it's ideally what I will take to the field anytime I'm going to be out trekking on my own. But when it comes down to survival, Mike can strip his kit down to the bare essentials. In his survival kit, Mike packs a machete and a knife, two water bottles, water purification drops, and a cigarette lighter, and a map. And Mike always carries two compasses for security. Sometimes you tend to doubt the trustworthiness of a compass when you're lost, so it's always good if you can look at two side by side and say, yeah, they're both saying the same thing, this must be the right way. And he never leaves behind a hammock, a mosquito net, and a poncho that'll keep him dry day and night. When it's all said and done, you can carry everything that you need to live off the land for pretty much as long as you want, right in a little pack about that big. All right. Time to get dressed, get ready to go play. Now, the reason I wear this headband, as opposed to any type of hat, I find that the hats always block a lot of my view, and I hate to have anything limited in my vision so I could see everything that's going on, whether there's some snakes or monkeys that I might need to hunt, or uh, you know, just branches with uh, thorns that are trying to stab me. So I use this to keep all the creepy crawlers out of my hair, keep the sweat out of my eyes, and give me a good field of view. Mike also wears gloves. The jungle is filled with barbs and thorns, and bacteria will rapidly infect even minor cuts and scrapes. It's not real sexy, but it is real practical. 